More people are using Super Archer Clone after the balance changes and today I tested the army with some war attacks and came to some pretty surprising conclusions. I reset inside the top 50 today and my first two defenses were against Super Archer Clone Root Rider attacks and it got me thinking could Super Archer Clone make a comeback? And there's actually a few compelling reasons for this. One, in the last update, the meta definitely got harder. There were nerfs to uh, a lot of the hero equipment, nerfs to Root Rider attack strategies, not Root Riders directly, but Super Buffs, Valks, and Overgrowths, and obviously the hero equipment. And then we got buffs to defenses. Now, why is this important? Because Super Archer Clone was undoubtedly still strong, but there's so much risk involved. In the previous meta, there was no point taking that sort of risk on an all or nothing blimp. You're better off just spamming the line and get a three star. But the harder the meta gets, the more the more viable, slightly risky attack strategies are. So that's already a good thing for Super Archer Clone. But on top of that, I think the spell tower comps you're gonna see people start running is much better for uh, Super Archer Clone than before. What do I mean by that? Well. The only bases you see with double poison towers are really bases like this one here where it's so compact that you don't even need to land the blimp anywhere in the core. Look at where mine landed and we, uh, the, sorry, the defend attackers landed and still got awesome value. In fact, in this meta, we're seeing more double rage towers, which is perfect for super archer clone attacks. Now, obviously, there were nerfs to a lot of the warden equipment, but the rage gem didn't get nerfed, which you should be using with this attack strategy. And whilst the eternal tome got nerfed, it's not as critical in this attack strategy, because in one and a half seconds, you're not really getting through the base that quickly. You kind of slowly overwhelm the base with this army. So the eternal tome doesn't matter as much. The rage gem is arguably more important, whereas the eternal tome and other attack strategies where you got to get across the base super quickly and you need that extra second half is far more important. So I think the nerfs didn't really hit this attack strategy that hard whatsoever and in the Super Archer clone is definitely still strong. You can see what he's running on the king here. So I'm going to do some more attacks and let's find out is Super Arch clone, has it been shadow buffed? We're going to come in with a pretty similar army to the one you just saw. One less super buff for a head hunter is essentially the main difference. Also one freeze spell. I like bringing the freeze spell with this army. It just makes it more flexible. You can freeze a sweeper if you're trying to get the blimp further in the base or freeze for your main push. In terms of the hero equipment, this is my free to play account. We'll also do some more attacks on my non free to play account. I'm bringing the magic mirror. I think that's worth it because with the rage gem, the clones are going to get so much value. Pretty simple for the rest. Let's give this army a go. Now, I talked the big talk. Two Rage Towers. This should be really strong for this army, shouldn't it? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Do I have a Stone Slammer? Oh, if I could get the Stone Slammer to go to that multi-arch tower instead of the, um, the Mortar, that would be awesome. But I don't know how the Stone Slammer paths. Let's find out. Let's find out. Good stone slammer. I'm gonna put you over here. All right, and you can see the rage towers can't really do much versus the invisible super archers. We're getting some good value. I want to get a bit more of the core. I also need to get the town hall down. And that is great value. Can we activate that Rage Tower? Perfect. Now the CC is coming over. That's a bit annoying. Because I want to deal with the CC just with an Ice Girl. Just with my Titan, right? Oh my word. This is taking a bit too much time. I really want to start my main push. Alright, we can start it. Oh, I need to force you inside the base. Why can't we target the Tesla? That's annoying. We're going to ward an ability through that. The Titan is not winning. It's a wizard tower. How did the Titan lose? Well, that's a little disappointing. So those ice golems are going to be a little bit of a pain on the back end. 
I'm also running out of barbs, but thankfully the uh, the king finally goes in. These ice golems are going to have some pretty annoying timing here. I really don't want to pop my king right now. Much rather pop it right now. How does this... There was no way the, the ricochet cannon was closest, right? Surely it was something in the core of the base. Regardless, we've got one minute. And this is where the rage gem is just kind of broken. I, I don't understand why the rage gem didn't get nerfed. I get not many people were using it. But the fact that for infinite amount of time all your troops are doing 50% extra damage is insane we're pushing through the core of the base i've still got three of these rocket balloons can i target yep the air defense that means that is an easy three star so there you go i've kind of proved my point rage tower bases aren't really strong versus super archer clone because we use the super archer clone that's not stopped by the rage towers at all we can swag all of that and then on top of that, you have the Warden ability, in terms of the Eternal Tome, to get through the other Rage Tower on the base, as we just did. But what about these double Poison Tower bases that aren't compact? So we've got an Anti-2 base here, and this is going to be a nuisance, but I've got an idea here. So we've got the four Rocket Balloons. I'm going to use three of them like that. I need them to do that. And look at this. We should be able to pull the Poison Tower. Now, unfortunately, this does mean that Air Defense is going to be up. I wish I did the blimp earlier. It's actually worth it, honestly. Now, you always want to be looking out where there's gaps on the base for giant bombs. Because you don't want to put the super archers on them. Because the super archers, well, they go down kind of quickly versus uh, giant bombs. Giant bombs definitely got a buff against super archers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get the town hall here. Oh my God, lord, I might throw the royal champion. All right, we're going to find out more about this army here. At least get the ricochet cannon down. Oh, that's annoying. Let's see if my titan can actually do something this time around. It was pretty useless last time. Dealt with the only part of the CC that was really easy to deal with anyway. You know what? I'll give you some help. Okay, the archer did not want to help. At least we've got the eagle down. Time's going to be a problem here. Look at this. The titan's so useless versus this dragon CC. It got even less this time. What am I doing? Okay. I guess the... I guess the... It gets hard countered? Now, the annoying thing about this attack... Oh, okay. At least the queen's going back and dealing with the ice golem. I have to pop the warden here. I need to keep some of these root riders alive. And I need a single Root Rider to go in. This is annoying. This is bad. The Queen with the Frozen Arrow is awesome, though. Got one Druid left. I really want to use my RC on the back end, but that's not what you're meant to do with this attack strategy. Just kind of sp put it all together and overwhelm the base as one. Something go... Come on, surely one of these Root Riders goes through the wall here. That's why I put the Royal Champion there, to try and push them to go through the walls. And they're going into the core. Keep in mind, we've got a King ability, Royal Champion ability as well. This King ability is going to be awesome. The Ice Golem. What an amazing Ice Golem. Totally what I meant to do with that. Obviously not. We pop the King ability. The Spiky Ball's insane. We pop the Royal Champion ability. Royal Champion's less insane. That... Oh, that got picked off. Oh, we're, we're going to run out of time, aren't we? Why haven't I popped my queen ability ages ago? I'm not even going to get the full use of the clones here. I think it's going to be a 99. I don't see myself getting that storage. No! Anyway, the point is proof of concept. You can take down these bases... But the Titan, to deal with the CC, really isn't working at all. Maybe I should be dropping the Titan from this army. We're going to finish off with a Rage Poison Tower Anti-2 base. And this is going to be really hard to get the Town Hall down. Kind of like the Anti-2 we just hit. And I know the question on all, on all of our lips. Is the Titan actually good in this army? Like, I get it. It's good if there's triple ice golem. But a dragon does not do that much damage. But clearly it does enough. Oh, the queen locked onto the blimp almost immediately. Please don't be a giant bomb. 
That's a giant bomb. Everything's dead. Or, luckily some of it lived, but you can see the problem with Super Archer Clone, and this... This is the annoying thing for me, so I'm gonna fail this army, or this attack, almost certainly. Maybe some of you guys disagree. I just don't think it needed to be nerfed. I, I kind of miss... I kind of miss, you know, blimp attacks being part of the meta. The game's kind of boring. There's no point, there's no blizzards, there's none of that. Like, I know some of you hate Super Archer Clone, which is fine. Um, because it was a pretty spammy army. But tell me Super Archer Clone attacks are worse to watch than Root Rider Spam, than Super Witch Fireball. You can't bait these attack strategies. I And I hate that at the moment in the meta, that there's some attack strategies that you cannot bait. That's not what Clash of Clans is meant to be about, right? We pop the Warden ability. At least the Titan worked this time, but that's only because... Oh my god, can we kill the King? That's only because we got there so far in advance. I mean... King, you suck. But my Queen's like doing no damage. Look at this. There's just too much damage on the base, isn't there? Now, my Super Archer clone sucked. But there's too much damage on these compact bases. So the ultimate thing is, did Super Archer Clone get buffed? I mean, it didn't get buffed. We all know that. But is it a reliable strategy? No. And that right there is the reason why. Because it, there's only so many spots you can land a blimp. Um, Jeez. My Queen's doing no damage. Look at her. <laughs> Just kind of a little bit useless in this attack. We'll see if we can finish off the Town Hall. Still so much base up. I've still got a King ability. The Fox is going to make the Royal Champion visible just in time to deal with that. Uh, we are not going to get the Town Hall here. And uh, that means... So I did four war attacks. I went one out of four. Now, the fail I didn't show was on a double invis base. I really wanted to show you guys a double invis base versus this attack strategy. Because Super Archer Clone is really good versus that. But do you know what I did? I went straight into a sweeper. I didn't even look. It was such a free triple. But went straight into a sweeper. Now... For those of you who do use Super Archer Clone, you definitely can use it. I'm terrible. This is probably my worst attack strategy in the game. I've never figured out how people actually do this attack strategy. And that's another annoying thing for me. Like, I know it's spammy, but there's definitely skill in it. Otherwise, I'd be able to pick it up immediately. I can't pick up... I can pick up Root Rider, uh, Root Rider attack strategies quickly. Never been able to pick up this, but unfortunately, the giant bomb nerf has put this in the ground and the meta is still way too easy to do such risk to do something that's actually a relatively attack skillful attack strategy. And that's just Clash of Clans in 2024, really.